Everything is all flush now. The top has been completely sanded smooth. Focus again. And now what I need to do is take the Dremel and cut the vine part of it in so I can fill that as well, like an inlay. And I haven't decided what color I want to use for that yet. Now the body is going to be done in uh, just natural, basically the same way it was. I'm going to um, end up clearing it with the rub-on poly after I get done doing all the inlay work and uh, it should be fine afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, cutting out this other part of this inlay and get that done and over with. I'm using a Dremel tool with a small routing bit which is just going to cut a trench in the body. Not a big deal. And this piece here is an attachment so you can sit there and have control over just going doing some type of scroll work or whatever around it. Not a bad thing about it is, is it kind of holds a lot of sawdust inside of here so it might be a lot of noise because I'm going to end up putting the vacuum cleaner on at the same time. I wish there was an attachment for this that would you could attach in a small vacuum or whatever to it so you could suck out all the dust. But, you know, it is what it is. I used that attachment for doing all this and it worked out pretty good. Uh, everything came out really nice, even the top part over there. This is all bent over here. So what I did is I filled, overfilled these guys and just sanded it down with the angle of the body. So I'm going to get to work right now. Alright, so what I did is I routed out the stem for the vine and I mixed a black diamond with a couple of drops of brown and a few drops of black in with the epoxy resin and it came out to be eh, kind of like a real dark gray but it's got a metal flake inside of it. So I'm mixing it now. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, it's a little bit dry. You know, just quitting smoking thing and doing the vaping. It's kind of dry, uh, drying out my throat a little bit. So I've been mixing this for almost eight minutes now. Equal parts of hardener and equal parts of resin. All right, so get a paper towel and start drizzling into the gap over here. Wipe off the excess off of my stick. That's what I'm going to use to fill up this opening here. So I'm going to start doing that right now. Got to be very, very careful. Don't want to get too much on the body, even though I'll be sanding the body again. Okay, so I think that's about as much as I'm going to fill. Start to clear the bubbles. Alright, so I gotta let that dry. Do a little bit of scraping afterwards and uh, yeah, be good to go. After that, probably fill in any low spots and then do a sanding again. So, thanks for watching. A little bit of an update again and uh, take care.